that movement to other parts. So the next color that you're going to need is green. We're going to do the stem and the leaves of your flower. You want a smaller paintbrush if you've got one. You could probably use the bigger paintbrush too. I'll do, I'll do one with the bigger paintbrush and one with the smaller. Get that rinsed out better. And we'll show you with the smaller paintbrush. You can do it a lot faster with the bigger one. And so now we're going to go do the base of the flower. And this is the part I had to use the paint to sort of fix mine. And then we'll do the stem. Just a little bit. And when you're in between coats, you can either let it sit and dry, or like I said, you can use a hair dryer to dry your paint. Okay, so with my origami paper, I've got this bright, um, orange and red and then I also have this green but it also has this color on the other side I give you three pieces of origami paper one big and two small and we're only going to put the two small on the actual painting um, the big one will be for practice so I'll try to pick a color um, that of the flower that will make the butterflies pop the one on the, um, the internet and at the counter at the library is a yellow flower and I have um, a red and a pink butterfly. So there is a big contrast in color. But if you have a favorite color that you wanna use, you can do that, no problem. But I'm just gonna to try to think about doing contrast. I'll probably do it both this side up. So I'm going to make my flower, I'll probably do it yellow or magenta. Oh, that's red. It's just got other paint on the outside of it. Um, I'll do one with red. So this is where you're going to need a smaller paintbrush again for the details. And 
You don't do the center of the flower. Um, you do that last, and then I'm going to do it a different color. I decided to use um, like a daisy type, like a Gerber daisy type flower. I thought they were really pretty and they come in all kinds of different colors. And um, it's all right if the pencil lines show, because that kind of gives your, your petals the separation. If you don't want to do um, highlights and shadows of each petal. Use up all the red paint that's on my brush. Just make it easier to rinse it off. Get any little spots I might have missed, or any clumpy spots too. do the middle, which is going to be black. You could also do make it yellow if you wanted to, or any color.
I'm gonna go over the green again since that dried pretty opaque. If it's still wet on my paper plate. the top of the stem a little bit more of a contour got some depth and shadow I'm gonna make a little bit darker green you can either do a darker green or a lighter green you do a lighter green by adding um, white, and I added black, and then I'm going to add a little spot of white. So, I don't think I have a spot of something here. Maybe I have a spot of green. A few spots of green. I want that there. Trying to fix where that green got on there. Okay. So once it dries, you will do your next step, or while it's drying, you do your next step. And that is the origami butterfly. Okay. So the first thing that you do is you want the color that you don't want to show. That's going to be on the inside. So what you want your butterfly to actually be is going to be um, on the, the back side. So you want to go ahead and fold it in half. 
and unfold it. Fold it in half again. And this one is your practice one. So, so now you've got four squares. And you're going to take corner to corner and fold it into a triangle. And then you're going to do that again to the, the other side. So now your paper looks like that, and you have folds. So you're going to take the bottom part where you have a triangle, and you're going to use your fingers to push to make that triangle like that. So it looks like that. And then you're going to take that top part and push it down, which this is always tricky for me. So sometimes it helps to find these other two creases and recrease them. So the next step that we do is you take one bottom of the triangle and fold it up to the top and do the same with the other and fold it up to the top. So now it looks like that. So then you flip it over so you've got just the plain triangle and you're going to roll it. You're not going to fold it, you're going to roll it. So you do that, try to get that bottom part up to the top, but you want to leave a little triangle, and then you want to fold that little triangle down, and then your bottom wings come out. This is where you use a little piece of tape to take the top of your butterfly. If you can fold them in the middle, make them stand up more. And fold down his wing tips in different directions. Get like a swallowtail appearance. But that's how to make make it. So practice with your big piece of paper if you don't get it the first time. I'm gonna go ahead and make the other two. Start with this one. I'm gonna have that color. Let's do. Let's do the solid orange yellow color. So we'll start with folding it in half. Folding in half again, the other way. Corner to corner. the other corner to corner. And open it back up. Get your triangle. Fold your other. This one folded a lot better than the first one. Again, it's like that. And the other. Flip it over. Roll it. Down the top. Let the little bottom wings go. And a little bit of tape. Okay, 
And this one, I'm going to have this be the outside of the butterfly. So then start corner to corner. A fold in half. Another fold in half. Bottom flap, get it. There it goes. The other bottom flap, flip it over, roll it up, fold down the top, and let the back wings come forward. It's a pretty butterfly. And a little piece of tape. So our painting should be dry. Yep, it's dry now. So these are glue dots. So what we're going to do, let me fold my butterfly a little bit so he's perkier. I'm going to take the butterfly and flip it over. Take your glue dot and stick it on that part of it. And then you got to peel it off. Sometimes it comes off real easy, sometimes it doesn't. So this butterfly, I'm going to put right here. And I'm using the glue dot. Make sure it sticks to the canvas. And do the other glue dot. And this butterfly is going to go into that swirl. Like he's flying right there on the canvas. There we go. Because they're glue dots, you can peel them right back off. I kind of want to like that. I want to like that. And there you go. All done.